Hi everyone, Juan from Magica Sports here. I'm going to show you how to do live coding and also how to sync an XML file. So the first thing you want to do is create a video project. Let's say this is your next opponent. You create the video project and you're not gonna add the video. This is gonna be later because this is live coding. So what you want to do is open the project and create a coding file. Once this is done, you can create your own code, the ones you prefer, the ones you need. If you have a history already, you can easily swap them up and use them once again. Once this is done, you're going to turn on the live mode and this screen comes up. If this is not showing straight away, it's because this is like this. So you should just come here with the mouse and pull it up so now it's visible. So what we recommend you to do is before you start live coding, you should add a code that is called kickoff. Doesn't matter how long it is, it's just gonna be a pinpoint in your timeline. So what we want here is to pinpoint when the game starts, the first half starts and when the second half starts. So let's say I'm at the stadium watching the game, I can start recording already and the referee just signals for the start of the first half, so I'm going to do the kickoff event. And it's right here. So later, when I want to sync this file, if anything happens to it, I already have the marker of when the game starts and when the game starts again. So let's say I'm doing my normal coding as usual, when halftime comes, I'm going to pause when the second half begins I just click here again and again I do the kickoff marker so here I will have one event for the start of the first half one event for the start of the second half when I'm done with my coding I just press pause and this will stop the recording of the coding file once this is done you can turn it off and you notice that now you have your events here. For the purpose of this example, I'm going to add a video. So now that the game is over, you're going to add the footage of that game. I will add this one. So now you have imported your video. For the sakes of giving you a better example, I'm going to import an XML file that is complete and not the one I've just done because they only have two codes. This one has all the codes and it has the kickoff as well. It has the beginning of the first half and the beginning of the second half. And as you can see here, it is not quite accurate. So I'm going to show you how to sync it. First thing you do is go to the video project right here. So let's say this is the very first screen. You go into the video project, you go up here and you open the sync manager. And here you'll have two bars three in this case so this one is the video and this one is the XML file I've just imported right here you have this small bar which is the XML I have just created right we're not gonna need it so I can just delete it so now I only have the XML file I've just imported and the video file all right so what we want to do we want to sync this XML file to the beginning of the second half so right here, I can filter by all the codes I've done. I'm going to choose the kickoff. And as you can see, I have here the beginning of the first half and here the beginning of the second half. If I double click here, he takes me exactly to that moment. But as you can see, this is not the beginning of the second half. So I'm just gonna press play on the video. I can even put the playback speed a bit faster. And once I see that the second half is to begin, like right about now, I can just pause, can move a little bit back. Okay, I want it here. And as you can see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. It's not quite right. I want to move this marker of the second half to here. So how do we do that? First thing we do is come here to the razor tool 
and we're just gonna click on top of it. Once you scroll on top of it, it will automatically cut in the beginning, because that's where you want it. Now we just select this one, and we want to select this bar and push it to this side. But right now he doesn't let me do that, why? Because as I zoom out, I see my timeline has no more space, so I cannot move this freely. So what we need to do is come here and edit the timeline duration. This has no effect over anything else, so it doesn't really matter. So now it allows you to do this. And what do we want to do? We want to put it right here on the beginning of the second half. To make sure that it's all correct, I come here and I filter by the kickoff. And I see that, yeah, actually, it's correct. So now as I see it, all looks good. Next thing I do, I just go back. He asks me if I want to save it. Yes, I do. And now, to confirm, I go to my XML file, to the kickoff file, right here. And when I go to the beginning of the second half, yes, now he is exactly where I wanted him to be. And now your XML file is synced. I hope this was helpful. Have a great one.